call it Ishmael. Who is a $200 afternoon built motorcycle? How do you make that? What ridiculous speeds, jumps, and climbs can she tackle? So, when on the eve of winter, where do we find it? But on the far side of a most dangerous mountain pass. It's a tale I'll tell, but don't miss the only question that matters. Why? Motorizing a bicycle is not the newest idea. It's the oldest. 1885. Daimler fits the first road-going internal combustion engine ever to what is essentially a bicycle frame. Means nothing unless you engage the rear wheel with that power. Means death, unless you find a way to disengage it too. After that, it's just feeding gas to the motor. And sparking her to life. Simple. To do this with modern tech, that'd be a hundred dollar shoebox kit and a hundred dollar bicycle. But if that's where we started, it's also what we departed almost immediately for things faster, things bigger, things far removed from we motorized bikes. C.S. Ishmael, named for an adventure of whalish proportions. I intend to traverse Grizzly Pass, a wilderness even the wildest fear to wander. And I plan to soar beyond the tree line on 80 cc's of upstroke. Cc's which I recently discovered are not cubic centimeters, but Chinese centimeters. In these units, the combustion chamber also counts. So must the spark plug hole and the volume of my remaining faith, because in reality, the piston only moves about 60 cubes. I know mail order motors are sour as lemonade. I just thought you had to shake lemonade before it starts tasting sour. Lord knows what tomorrow's actual shakedown will reveal. She's rattling loose already. 
So I'm gonna add some rubber and thread locker to the engine and tank mounts, so it should hold fast. speed test commands maximum pressure. The extra PSI also eases my fear of flats from all the extra load. Stability saves soles on speed runs, so you'll want to see top shelf suspension. Still too fast for the retro brakes. And if we were a motorcycle magazine, we'd say the V-brakes get the job done. But we're not a magazine, and if the brakes don't get the job done, I'm rolling off a cliff. So she's up six teeth on the rear sprocket to lower speed. And bonus, heighten climbing ability. Yeah! Ishmael wasn't fully prepared for a Moby-sized dick of a rider, but she's always curious to learn to adapt parts here and there. And for 200 bucks, I can't imagine a better way to get a handle on how motorcycles work and thrill. And if you're 10 years old and don't have one, hell, if you were 10 and didn't have one, I hope someone buys this for you. Now, to the pass. I'd like to think the mixture is fuel rich because we've climbed into thinner air. <laughs> now we ain't that high yet. I suspect my carb is just migrating out of tune. She's bogging down again, and judging from the oil she's spitting, I'd say the 50 to 1 break-in ratio is to blame. There's not much for it. Feathering the clutch helps to keep her out of the grease and on the power. The classic two-stroke skill that motorcyclists are beginning to forget. But Ishmael remembers. No more. <laughs> this is overly hot, man, like seizure hot. <laughs> mm. 
Legend says that when Daimler sent his son out to test the first motorcycle, its seat caught fire. It's not worth it. Is she the most reliable thing in the world? No. And also, yes. What other motorcycle can go completely tits up and still be pedaled to the finish? Come on. Almost there. She made it. Not as a motorcycle, but as a motorized bicycle. From this side of the pass, I can really see the difference. Motorcycles are defined by a dying generation. Fast, with performance to match a boomer's bank account. Free, with range to escape the suburbs in which they're garaged. I love that idea of a motorcycle, but it's a white whale. And if manufacturers monomaniacally spear themselves to it, the whole ship is going down. A more practical way forward is closer to where we started. Small motors and small bikes. Something the next generation can afford between student loan payments. Something we can park in our micro apartments. A few visionaries peek above the clouds, waiting for energy density to improve, to prove that smaller was always better.